Hi guys, welcome to SHS Tech Solutions. Today in this tutorial, we discuss on the topic is how to upload image to MySQL database with validations and display it using PHP. Okay. Before going to topic, I will say one thing. SHS Tech Solution provides all the web technologies like HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript, jQuery, and JS, and PHP, SQL, and digital marketing tutorials also. So, so guys, please like, share my videos and please subscribe my channel. If you click bell icon also, you can directly get notifications to your Gmail. Okay, I am going to topic what we discuss on today, how to upload image to MySQL database. This is the HTML form. We all of you know, here I am writing the only HTML form. We all of you know, if you have any doubts, please pin me. Please pin me in comment session. Okay, next, I will write the HTML, sorry, I will write the PHP file about this HTML form, control N, okay, next. Upload.php, okay, next, upload.php, here I am write the PHP syntax. Here I am write the PHP syntax. Next, I will connect the database. Database connection. Database connection like dollar connection equal to my SQLI connect. This is the uh, procedural method. My SQLI connect local host. root, no password, and next, my database name is the upload. My database name is upload. Okay, next, if off is set up dollar underscore post, dollar underscore post, Upload image, name is submit. Okay, name is submit. Next, dollar underscore post of, first one is the user, dollar underscore post of, email, email. Next, okay, I will assign the variables dollar us and next dollar em okay next i will try to upload the image i will try to upload the image file image file okay okay input type equal to file file is a associated double dimensional array file is a associated double dimensional array files files first image name file name input Fill name, input fill name is image, and next one here image, next here name. This property returns the exact original name of the file. This property returns the original name of the file. File name, and next dollar underscore files of. Image name is name and size. This property returns the exact size of the file name. I will assign a variable like file size. Okay. And next, I'll copy this file property and next type image type. This property returns the exact type of the image. Type of the image type like JPG, JPG, JPEG or PNG, JPG, this uh, format like that. Okay, file type. And next one is the temp name, temporary name. Okay.
the temporary file name of the file which is uploaded the file was stored in the server server lo okay my file was um, uh, stored in the server this probably returns the uh, file will be stored in the server like this history dogs here i am create a new folder like uploads okay uploads this property file temp name property returns the file name of the file temporary file name of the file in which uploaded file was stored in the server temporary file name of the file in which uploaded file uploaded file was stored in the server server like this one this uploads folder this upload folders the image will be stored in this server okay next here i am write a variable like errors errors equal to array of array of next here i am write the path info path info dollar underscore file name exact file name Exit file name comma path info path info underscore extension okay I will uh, assign a variable like file extension file ext okay file ext what is the use of this file path info path info will return the exact path of the file exact where is that? okay path info returns the information about the file path Path info, info function returns the information about the file path. Next, I'll write the array like which type of files are accepted and which type of files are not accepted. JPEG, JPEG format is accepted. And next, JPG, JPG is accepted. And next, PNG also accepted okay png format i will assign this array into the one variable dollar extensions okay next dollar extensions next i will check the array i will sorry i will check the Next, I will check the uh, uploaded image. Here I am using the in array method. What is the use of in array method? I will explain. In array file underscore ext. Here ext file um, uh, file extension is saved in this variable. File extension comma normal extensions equal to equal to false equal to equal to false equal to equal to false if of equal to equal to false dollar errors
extensions are not allowed. Extensions are not allowed. Choose another. Choose another another image with extension with extension JPEG JPG PNG okay here we have checked the extension jpg J, uh, jpeg jpg png what is the use of in array method in array method okay in array function is inbuilt php function inbuilt php function that is used to check the whether a given value exists in array or not when you are trying to upload an image that image will be that image extension will be uh, exist or not you check the exist or not it returns uh, true if the given value is found in the array and false okay next suppose extension is there extension is there if of next i will check the file size if of dollar file File size. File size must be 2 MB. 20971152. File size must be 2 MB. Here we are check the array extension is, uh, sorry, image extension is uh, exist or not. Next here we check the file must be file size must be 2 MB. Okay, next file size must be 2 MB. Next. File size is uh, 3 MB. File size is um, uh, greater than the uh, 2 MB. Uh, which type of error is there? Errors, dollar, errors, dollar errors, File size must be 2 MB. File size must be 2 MB. Okay. Or else, or else if of dollar errors, we have no errors. We have, suppose we have no errors. Uh, we have no errors. Empty here. I am using the empty method. Empty errors. Errors equal to equal to true. Equal to equal to true. Next execute the query. Like execute the query. Next I will create a table. I will create a table like just upload image. Upload images. Okay. Next here serial number. Serial number. Username. Email. Image. Data type. Varker. Length. 200. Email. Varker. Length. 30. Username. Varker. Length. 30. Okay. Here serial number is a auto increment primary key. Next click on save. Table is created. Table name is upload images. Okay. Next, insert into upload images. Username, username, comma, email, comma. Next, image, image. Username, email, comma, image. Values. Values file name of oh, first one US dollar dollar US username next dollar EM
next file name okay here this query i will assign a variable like sql next i will execute the query like if of Here I will write the query my SQLI query my SQLI query comma query of dollar connection comma okay next okay next okay move upload file if the query is okay move uploaded file move uploaded file more uploader file like temporary file name like temporary name file tmp temporary name file tmt comma what is the exact file name okay next exact file name and next oh uh, what is the path here h3 docs Next, it in folder uploads in the uploads folder. In the uploads folder, uploads uploads folder. Okay. Okay. Next, echo image data. Uploaded successfully. Data uploaded successfully. Next, or else echo echo print. If you have any errors, print the E R R O or else. Okay. Next. Once I will check the check the output like image name mola okay abc at the red gmail.com choose file oh, okay this file name is the upload.php here in the action I will write the upload upload.php next in type multipart form data is compulsory I will select a image like like AVF uh, logo. Okay, next. Upload image. Okay, extension 30. 30 parse error. 30th line, 30, 30. Info MD errors echo. Sorry, here the else yells. Once I will check the output, once I will upload once again. This file extension is WVBP. This file is not uploaded. Here we are get the error. Okay, extensions are not allowed. Extensions are not allowed. Choose another image with extension JPEG. Extension JPEG, JPG, and PNG. Okay, next I will check the, I will choose another image like, okay. This image extension is JPG, it is okay. Okay, data uploaded successfully. Next, I will check the image, upload images. Upload images, username, mola, email, uh, abc.gmail.com and image. And next, I will upload one more images like
okay that uploaded successfully and next rakesh rake okay Here in the MySQL server, my, my PHP my admin uh, image temporary names are stored. And next, where is the images are saved? Here in this folder. In this folder, uploads. Okay. These are the images. Three, multiple times. So three. Okay. No problem. Two times. Next, one more condition is if the image is already exist. Um, uh, exist we can raise the error i will explain in uh, my next video okay next I will display these images. I will display these images. Next, I will write the next, another file like display display.php. From here, I will copy the HD bootstrap CDN links. Bootstrap CDN links. body html upload images Validation and display using PHP. Okay. Next. Okay. Here I write the table. Table. Class equal to table. Table stripped. Table strip and table responsive. Table responsive. Next, TR. TH. First one, serial number. Next, TH. Username. Next, another TH. Email. Next, another th image. Okay, next. Here I write the PHP. Here I write the PHP. Next, I will write the query. Query select start from table name like. Upload images. Okay. Upload images. Next, this query will be assigned into the another variable SHOW show. Okay. Next. First of all, I will connect the database dollar connection equal to dollar connection. Same database. Database connection. Okay. okay. Here, next, I will execute the query MySQL query of MySQL query of dollar connection comma. Our connection comma dollar show. Next, I will assign this another variable dollar result. Okay, dollar result. 
Next, I will check the how many number of rows in the server. Okay, if of MySQL number of rows, number of rows of dollar result, dollar result greater than zero. Greater than zero. Next display, or else we have else we have no data. Echo, we have no, we have no data. Okay, next. Okay, suppose we have data. We have data. We we need only values in the columns. So that's why I'm using the MySQL fetch array method. MySQL fetch MySQL fetch array of dollar result. In the result set, we will need only values. So that's why I'm using the MySQL fetch method. Okay, I will assign a variable like row. Okay, it is a number of number of rows. If if we have if we we have number of rows in the table, we are using the loop. While of dollar row. Yeah. Next. Echo. TR. TR. Okay. Next. Echo. TR. We have values in the dollar row. I will assign uh, concatenate the concatenate using the dot operator dollar row dollar row of what is the column name serial number. Okay, serial number. Next, I will copy this. Username and next one is the email. Okay, once I'll check the output. My file name is display. Display.php. We have error in 45 line. 45. Okay. Oh, concatenation. Concatenation problem. Okay. Next. Okay. Okay, serial numbers, username, and email is also get. Next, I will show the image. Image echo td img src from uploads folder. From uploads, from uploads folder, dollar row of. Dollar of column name is column name is image. Okay, next width width equal to fifty percent. Width equal to fifty percent. Height equal to hundred pixel. Height equal to 100 pixel and next td closed okay images and we have no double questions next i'll check the output yeah okay images will be short showing that Thirty percent. Okay, it's good. So, guys, this is the process to 
upload images and download, sorry, display images. This is the process to upload images and display images using PHP. I hope we all are understand how to upload and how to display the images. If you have any doubts or uh, queries, please ping me in the comment section. Okay, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.